we've done all four parts. Yeah. And then, uh, so it is quite a steep walkway, so people yeah. do take the time with that. Just wait for the, the big one in September. Yeah. So that's going to be interesting. But that's a lot of steps. Yeah. And it's a shame you can't do it in the car since it's yeah. all kicked out, but you don't have to walk all the way. Uh, it's walking these guys are going to very kindly let us uh, inside the bus here. Oh, are they the, the engineers going? Yeah. More talks about new golden tickets, or have you, have you, have you, is there any talk about new golden tickets? Because apparently they're meant to be releasing new ones in May. Uh, I'm not sure, but I. Uh, what, what are the. Cause I, we don't get told, you see, we just get told all oh, you guys are coming. Yeah. So, so is it like a ticket to come and do something special? Yeah, basically, yeah. Okay. Because um, um, there's a list of them on the Merlin yeah. website, but they, we used to do high rates, so they got pulled. Yeah. Coaster clients got pulled. A lot of them have been removed. Yeah. Because it's, it's either this one or the um, one at Sea Life. But what's yeah. he done once in that time, he's already done them all. Oh, okay. But, yeah. Again, just, just ask, um, get more people to ask for them, the more people to ask for them. Yeah. Who the names? Oh, only five, <laughs> only five minutes for uh, 13. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, is this the back? Oh, wow. Right, where's this electric box we stay away from? <laughs> that, <laughs> just this panel over oh, here. Oh, okay. So. Okay, cool. Okay, this is the hydraulics here. Oh, wow. You can see this quite a bit. Oh, what, are they going to send a train round? We're just going to send a couple of them we'll go, because these guys, they yeah, actually have the checks to do and things. Oh, so yeah. We want to get them to be able to crack on with what they need to do. Look at that, wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's all, all very, uh, very clever stuff. So you see the red cylinders on either side. They are your accumulators, they've got all your pressure. Yeah. Where's the wire? Is it just the, the ropes? You've got the two launch ropes at the top there oh, yeah, going see. backwards, and you've got the return rope which is pulling the capture car back at the bottom. You can't really see very well. It's visible there. And, and so as it's turning, it's feeding the wire off the top and feeding the, the return on while it pulls it back. And then when it goes the other way, vice versa. So it is going to turn back slowly. It'll slow down when it starts to get near to the end. You'll see it start to slow so down. If you e stop so it, it when it does it halfway, what happens? It will, it will just continue on with it. Once it launches, it launches. It depends on when you do it. Like you can get rollbacks on, on Vita. Uh, oh, we wow. do test it um, every year to make sure that the, the brakes are working correctly. Um, Have you ever had a live rollback on here? Uh, I believe once last or year. twice. Oh, last year. Last year. If there's like a power failure or something, we can it yeah. can happen. Phones are not okay. I missed it though. It's devastating. Well, you're giving these guys ideas. Phone out, you just pop it right out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what's the worst injury you've had on this? Injuries? Like, have you had any injuries from people filming? Like, dropping yeah, items on the track? Yeah, cameras and things. That. We've got a lot of netting where they've got all that up yeah. to prevent anything yeah. like that. From I know, it's like a rush at four. Yeah, because what happens if a phone like, gets caught in the netting? Do you just get it at the end of the day? Or? Yeah, we get a big stick. We have a big stick. We jump it down. Can we try to knock on the floor? We won't be doing that again. By well, the end of the day, you should have taken it all in the first place. Yeah, so, exactly. you know, <laughs> Lucky getting we're it not, back. We're not liable, we're just going to get it down. So, um, we'll do uh, what we can to get it down. Great. Right. <laughs> a lot of power in there. You're looking at about yeah. 320 bar in there, uh, pressure inside these cylinders. Yeah. And basically, we've got um, a nitrogen either end. And then what that does is. Um, Build the pressure over time, the motors are turning, build up the pressure, pressure, and then these are actually charged quite quickly within a minute or so. And then as soon as it's uh, ready to release, we open the valves of them, that's what it goes through. When all this pressure disperses through the pipes, the larger pipes you see here are uh, going back into the tank. This is the tank where it sits when it's not being pressurised, and the ones on the outside are actually where the pressure, small ones are where the pressure is. Oh, okay. Quite interesting. Though. So you can see the pressures on there at the moment. So does this get regularly reviewed then? Or is this only always in here when everyone is running? Oh, this computer in here? Uh, yeah, like assessing the situation. 
Or is that all done in the main control? It, 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 it monitors lots of things. It's usually speed over the top half of it, or adjust pressure depending on how yeah. fast the trains are going. Yeah. It works out on average, yeah. Yeah. adjust the pressure according. Is it normally manned in here, or is it not? No, it's no. Not, it is normally unmanned. I know that if they are having like hydraulic issues, they can have someone in here just yeah. keep an eye on things. But uh, no, we, we haven't had to for a long time. Uh, Nice yeah, pressure yeah, skip, actually. Yeah. So that'll go back to green when it's ready to launch again. Yeah, it's a um, very, very clever system. What's your favourite ride to work on? Yeah. Um, 13, well it used to be 13, not so much anymore. <laughs> I prefer Oblivion though. Okay. Do you feel that, um, do, when, you, when you go on uh, 13 yourself, do you think it's the hydraulics or the actual drop that makes you scared more? On or, 13? Yeah, because uh, for me it's the hydraulics when it first goes and then the drop, but it's more the hydraulics that get me than the drop itself because they're now, and then it drops. Okay, um, the way that works is the, um, the train will go into the, um, the drop zone and yeah. um, we have lots of safety catches on that to make sure that if there is a power failure or hydraulic loss it won't drop um, until we're ready for it. Yeah. So the train goes in and once it's made the sensors, you know there's a lot in there when you go in in the dark, you can just see a sea of green light. Yeah, yeah. Um, and if any of them are out, it won't, it'll just keep the safety catches engaged. Oh, and then only when it's happy that um, all the have been met, including the hydraulic catchers, will it bring the safety catchers in and release and, and get yeah. it to drop. It's just and where the, way, it does the way that sorry. it does the pre-drop is it just opens the hydraulic valve just for a split second just and then closes it just to get that little bounce. Yeah, I see that. And then you yeah. open the pulley and you get the free pull down. And have you a bit of to evacuate Yeah, we have procedures for that. Um, if for some reason, it's usually due to um, uh, weather conditions uh, more than anything. We haven't had any problems for the past two years. Though. Oh. I guess it, you have to get tested on it every year of the console, don't you? Well, yeah, we just uh, literally everyone gets assessed on it to make sure they know what they're doing, and it's uh, it's not not too bad. No, uh, do apologise for the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Are we basically stopping you off from going home tonight? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry about it. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Love it. I think we're good to have a wander up now. So I'll just keep all the one. I'll just keep all the one. I'll put that over so it doesn't get wet. Now. Yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant. So, see, we've got our. Uh, operation panel here. This one's not quite as interesting as the, as the operator panel. But the green one is just a dispatch light to send it through from here. Uh, the blue one says that there's a train in this location, so that means uh, there's a, it's occupied. Um, the black one just stops the train from going through and the e-stop basically cuts the hydraulic and electrical power to the ride and lifts all the brakes. So um, we do tend to do the station stop more for in this area than yeah. the e-stop. The e-stop is uh, um, for any 
kind of like immediate danger of it's going we would not hesitate to press that if yeah. it had to be just uh, if it's just, just there press it. exactly uh, if there's any doubt we'll always, always press the emergency yeah. stop so um so how so also you have to keep your finger on the button there and, and also down there to launch yeah. it don't you so on these ones um it's a bit we'll show you when you get up there and you'll probably get a bit of a oh, wow. gist of it but um um, for us guys, once it starts to move, we can let go. Whereas on the B and M coasters, you have to hold all the time. Oh, so okay. So as soon as you press that, that's your. So it once done. it starts to move, we're good. It'll automatically yeah. move it to the next location. Uh, and again, it will automatically bring it in. This okay. is why we have the station stop there. So if we didn't want it to come in for some reason, we can activate that station stop, yeah. and the that's train will stop down there. Oh, okay. So it is is very good. Yeah. Um, I don't think Magnets are just directly underneath where your feet would be here. Mm. You can't really see. So mm. then metal plate underneath yeah. there. That's where the uh, the magnets are for the, the ride. Mm. Uh, and that is why you don't take your phone on there because yeah. you can wipe your phone if it's very, oh. especially if it's lower down. So and I've done it myself when I was cleaning them in the garage over winter, and I lent I had my phone in my huh? pocket. Like I lent it against it, and it wiped my iPhone, a brand new iPhone, and it just uh, as if. Yeah, it how just th how like colours, I was really upset about it. So, magnets, you know, yeah, <laughs> don't, don't go near <laughs> They're very, very strong. Yeah. So. How often do you have to change the wheels on them? Um, they do last quite a long time, so I don't know about these ones exactly, but 13s, um, we only just started changing the original wheels that were put on, yeah. probably about two or three years ago. So, obviously, yeah. if there is an issue, we take them off before then, but yeah. some of them were still originals and that, so they can last a long time depending on yeah. uh, what happens. So, I've got one of those from Colossus and I was wondering how long they actually been running for. <laughs> yeah, they, they can actually last quite a long time, yeah. so they, they are really good. They are really good. But, um, different wheels have different See, lifespans. Jermaine was just asked here. Jermaine? Yeah, but I told She knew it. She can't hear me, but she yeah. knew what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Quiet round her then. So, this just closes the uh, gates to make sure the staff are safe. Well, only the staff can close these. Um, the operation is in the Finjo and Kapani staff in this launch area. Um, this one, the minimum required close position, and basically what this means is if the hot light thinks it's too high, it won't let it stand. So, only if all the bars are down will it flash. So, oh, we could okay. actually press that now and it would, um, it would be happy. But um, if that's not flashing, that means that we've got a problem and that's yeah. when we have to go back. So uh, if you press that button now, it'll launch it? It wouldn't launch it now, no, no. because it's all, all disabled at the moment. Okay. But, um, uh, um, you'd have to, like, hold the dispatch and the operator would have to do it as well at the oh, same okay, time. Because yeah. so, yeah. um, how yeah. far does the bar have to go down for it to be happy? Is it done by clicks or is it done by... It's done by hydraulics, so behind this um, seat cover here there's actually two hydraulic cylinders. And it'll just close at any position where, oh, okay. where it locks at. Um, I think Colossus works the same, 13 the yeah. same. <coughs> You've got two cylinders for safety, so if one failed, the, the other one uh, would be, would be uh, sufficient enough to keep yeah. you moving, so it's always yeah. failed safe. Because yeah. what's the point of the seatbelt for it? Is uh, it it's, just it's more for guest, guest comfort. Guest comfort yeah, a lot of them. Basically, when the train obviously comes back into the offload position, yeah. that the harness doesn't come off and hit somebody in the face, <laughs> oh, even though okay. it's quite slow. Yeah, because really it can't be classed as a safety mechanism, can it? Because also say if something they, they guess can undo themselves, exactly, can't really yeah, be a safety yeah. mechanism. So I've had it accidentally come up on stealth once. The belt yeah. just went straight yeah, up. As, as some people like tend to hold the hand over the buckle, yeah. and um, you well, find that most times when it does come down is because they've got the hands over the buckle, and then uh -huh. they've accidentally done it when it's launched <laughs> and done it. The shoulder harness as well. So yeah. the lap bit is also for comfort. It's oh, only okay. the You could go on this just with the just bar. That bar. Yeah, oh. probably wouldn't be that comfortable. No. There's nothing there. <laughs> do, you do you tend to think that guests prefer overhead restraints rather than lap restraints? Uh, I think that um, uh, if you just look at the Smiler, for instance, the Infinity Coaster type everywhere else has just got lap bars, whereas oh. here we're the only ones with the overhead restraint. Oh, I yeah. think it's mo mostly because the, the, the British public could do, they're very conscious about safety. Yeah. And they want to make sure that they, are, they do feel very safe with the overhead harnesses, so we do tend mm -hmm. to go for that mostly. Um, the exception being 13 and uh, Wicker Man, yeah. which is um, it's just a lap bar. So. Yeah, it goes, uh, goes intense with just a lap bar. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't had a chance to experience it properly yet. Um, I went on it when it was going very, very slow, so yeah. I, 
hopefully, fingers crossed, in the next few weeks I'll be able to have a go on it. So, uh, and I'll be able to see what everyone's raving about. Yeah. Um, maybe have a, a one down. It's weird to see that go over. <laughs> Do you want to go through this beast with them? You, you I do. Well, I, I don't, my throat's starting to tickle a bit, so... Yeah, so, on a normal day-to-day, -day, we only really use these. Yeah. As operators, we need to know what every single button does, but we don't use it. We only use the, what, that one, yeah. the Harris model. Uh -huh. So, yeah, two dispatch buttons there. They're the two station then. Open the harnesses and load, and then then once they open and offload, open air gates, close air gates, and open the stack. So is this east stops at the moment, so no gates will open or anything. No. Why have they got caught up? They're from 13. Oh, okay. Mm. They just finished. Um. So what these are? These are our blocks. So the two obviously lit up. That's where the trains. That's where they're occupied at the moment. If there's ever more, then there should be. So if there's three blocks, and obviously if there's not three trains on, yeah. then there's an issue. Well, you've actually got yeah. three trains. No, I'm saying if it had three lights, oh, okay. then it would be an issue then because it would say that there is, even though there is not. Yeah. Um, obviously, the emergency stop. And then we have the screen here. Mm. So that's the track layout. And then tells us the ride is on. Mm. It's an automatic mode. And uh, the fault at the moment is he stopped. Mm -hmm. And then we have the roll coast time, which that measures from second it launches to when it goes round back of the garage and so that's how we know how fast it, how quickly it's gone um toll dispatches today so they've had they've done that many today 206 and then total dispatches in total so that's how many it's done all time 88,000 yeah we have to write it down every hour we write oh. down number and then take it away from the last one so they know how many we've sent. Yeah, this is our paperwork that we have to fill out every day. It's not as high as it used to get, is it? But, you know, yeah, the throughput's on this side. It's not as good as it used to be. But hey, know. Can we press a couple buttons? The PA? On the PA? Yeah, be my guest. Uh, it's on the station one. Who just wants to play the breakdown message? That's what he wants. Always the breakdown message. I'll read it on available. That one's the boring one. Close, go home. <laughs> what is the most fun one then? Not the, the actual breakdown message one. Oh, breakdown message that one. So, what's this one? Is this, is this just for the platform? So, if you do it all areas, would that be mega loud? No, not really, no. no. <laughs> It's all like in the queue line and stuff, so we won't uh, be able to hear that. Oh, what's message eight? Hmm? What's message eight? <laughs> it just cancels. That, uh, that's the airy music, so if you press that. Oh. <laughs> press it, take your finger off, but press it, and then there you go. There you go. That's the airy music. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, what's good. And then if you do that. That aborts the message, so that's it. You try and click something, then you can press the wrong yeah. one. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Is that working? No, you, I thought you, you've yeah, got to hold it down. There you go, try now. Yeah, that's it. Hello. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking. Work out the whole ride, you enjoy the PA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did have swarm and it's mega loud there. No, this one's not very loud. 13's is loud, but Rita's has never been loud. Mm. Uh, yeah, so 
in here we have our signs to say it's either in rides or technical yeah. services to see yeah. obviously it's in rides that they yeah. yeah. list off. Yeah. Um, is that all your CCTV there? Yeah, the that's... This has all um, been redone quite recently. Um, last year, so we've got <laughs> yeah. we've got Not really normally that small, there we go. Uh, so really you can actually see the whole ride, aren't you? Yeah. We have to go um, for legal reasons. Uh, they're, they're all uh, pretty good these days, um, on all the rides. Mm -hmm. So why hasn't someone got their camera just as it launched? And because you can't really stop it, do you just kick them out of the end? Um, it, it depends on the situation, but uh, nice ideally you, you would get to that point and we're pretty good at being able to, to stop it. Yeah. yeah. So what's the TV here for? The this? computer? Oh, yeah, you will. Yeah. That's the, um, in, what's that, Steve? Is it's it diagnostics. Yeah. So it, it basically it's like a feed from the, the, the whole ride computer system, um, similar to what the, the one on the touchscreen is, um, but they can find out in more detail what's going on on the hydraulic system as well. Like the oldest thing is that keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> so what are these for? These metal things, sorry. These these are uh, they're not in use yet. They're gonna be our new interlock gates oh. keys so that we can get in, in each individual area with these rather than other things. But they're not they're okay. not wired up yet. Coming soon. <laughs> Coming soon. Coming soon. Coming all, soon. All of them. To a theme park near you. Yeah. Yeah, but do you have to wear either thing then here? Well, um, it's know. not mandatory, but if people want to, we have to. If you want it. So when the kids off school. Oh, so it's that when it gets to the it's like near the earplugs. <laughs> earplugs are coming. Yeah, it's a so yeah. generally, um, once it's, if it breaks down, how long, do you have to have maintenance come and recheck it, or are you trained to sign it off? No, what, what we do is, if the ride broke down, and we would then, obviously, do the PA messages, we would call uh, Alpha Control, which is, Yeah. Um, and then tech services would then come back here and then they would have to sort it out sweet and then we'd have to go through a, a stoppage checklist and keep sending right. trains around so many times and all that. Yeah. Um, how do you update the queue time? We've got the PTA. It's the iPad which is uh, the little white box just there but it's not actually working at the moment. Ah. We, we do actually have an automatic queue system. So it makes it sense it just tells you where it is. If you see little black boxes in the queue line and mm -hmm. wonder what they are, they're actually, if yeah. anybody's got the app on the phone, it measures how long they've been in the queue line for. And then it'll smart. automatically update, yeah. yeah. It doesn't always work. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Because yeah. on Oblivion we have the issue where, because some of them are really close to each other, oh. sometimes it'll say the queue's five minutes even though it's not, yeah. just because it measures from someone queuing to someone closer. Yeah, it, it tends to ping the station one from below. They are working on it to try and get it, get it better. So. Um, so on here as well, we've got a wind alarm and temperature alarm. I know it sounds quite smart, isn't it? What's Galactica like in terms of operations? Does that break down a lot with the VR? I don't really know anything about Galactica. Galactica says the, uh, the VR uh, isn't the most simple either. Yeah. Um, it's really hard to get the VR working properly with the VR experience. I think they've reduced the amount of costs. Yeah. Try to be more consistent. Not better, better I'm not a fan of VR myself, yeah. but to be fair, when you're wearing it, it is actually really good. Yeah. And I think it is a good idea. I but I think uh, the future yeah. of the VR is to have a designed ride yeah. specifically for the VR. And mm -hmm. then I think it'd work better. A bit like Darren Pond, yeah. yeah. it's designed for it. It's, it's all set up ready. Yeah. Whereas, like, with um, a roller coaster, it, it's not like the, the easiest yeah. one to add VR to. So. I know it's, like, it's completely off retail, but it's just amazing like, how these actually lock on the Skyride, because it's literally only a little bit of thing. 
It's like it's gonna <laughs> dangle off. Yeah, it's very clever. It's very clever. Mm. Cause where do you put the trains at, like at the night time to keep it from damage? Do you put them both uh, in that room? Uh, only one can fit in there. Oh, well, they're moving it now into there. Uh, I think they're yeah, just checking the seat so off. Oh, they are key, yeah, we had that one. Oh, of X, yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> Jetpack right there. Yeah. We got stuck on X and they had to take that out. Uh, we used that to release it manually. Yeah. Yeah. You want to try and pick it up? Come on! Yeah. Yeah. It's very heavy. Very, very heavy. Nice so, to have that around all day. So basically... Uh, uh, so that plugs into the back of every car, so yeah. then it'll open up that car's lap bars. So that's what that does. Okay. Oh yeah, how can we have an odd number of cars on Oblivion? There's five, isn't there? Uh, there is five today. Uh, we, we run six in double yeah. shuttle mostly. Um, and we do have seven, but we don't run seven. Yeah, because yeah, it really... There's not enough places to yeah, put them no. in, so you'd never be able to stop. The food would be amazing. Well, yeah. Like constantly having to go. That's what I mean. Was there, even when it's six, and it's scare fest. I think there was six yeah. scare fest. Yeah. You spend more time waiting. So I don't know why they put something on the track. Um, with six, it's not too bad um, for waiting. Um, four's the probably the biggest wait when it's running with four shuttles um, because you only put one in at a time at the station. So then you have to oh. wait for three dispatches after that, and it takes quite a long time to do it. So I thought. If there's yeah. none there, you'll just go yeah. past the brake Whereas stop. If, if you're on six, it's only three dispatches. Oh. Uh, so you've only got to wait for two dispatches yeah. to come back. And um, usually it's about a minute or two to get the dispatch done. So it's not. Yeah. Um, so six is good. Um, five is really good because if you get on the, the front shuttle, um, you'll arrive at the back on the next one. So you oh, don't I have to wait for that one. What's the When do you decide on Rita to run it into one or two trains? What's the like customer limit? Trains can that run on three or four. And with Smiler, how do you make it? What's how do you make it dispatch so it's like dueling itself when the ones it's on the it. Yeah, um, it duels better when you're on three vehicles. Um, the more vehicles you have, the less chance you have of dueling it. So mm. it just um, it just depends on that. If you don't do it on purpose, it just happens. Mm -hmm. Like it just it, you send them out whenever. It's not programmed to do anything to duel. It just yeah, because once it was it's pr proper perfect timing. So yeah. can you make that happen, or is it just if, if, you, if you're good? Yeah, but again, it depends on how fast that particular vehicle yeah. is going, the weight on the vehicle. So there's so many variables. It's very difficult to actually pre-plan a, a dual um, vehicle. Um, and should we go for uh, Wander Down? Uh, right, well, I'm going to have to ask you to do that. We need yeah, to make sure you guys are nice and safe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, we're just doing it up. Put it on here. And then if you take your key. You oh, OK. Oh, yeah. oh, this is what we're doing the coaster card, weren't it? Make sure you do not lose that yeah. key. Because if you don't, if you don't, if you don't lose the key, it. then Rita won't be open tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you ever had it where you have lost a key? Yes. <laughs> Uh, Fired the on the spot. Home with the key. What do you have to do? Just get a pair. Cut it. I go round to the house and <laughs> shout at them. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. The key and come we'll back to work. Where you live. <laughs>
Just lower these uh, brakes down once we've cleared that area. So these will go all the way down to the floor. No, in fact, so if the, if the vehicle stopped here yeah. and you can't get them out, so how do you get them out of the vehicle? So, so, so they can't. We'll these will drop yeah. down to there. Once that area is clear, we'll we'll oh, oh I see. Well That's handy. That's why I do that. It would be very difficult to evacuate people from this point because obviously the thing about the track here and the trains all the way over there. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So theoretically speaking, if you were to launch it now and one of us were here, you wouldn't be able to do that. What's that? If one of us had stood here and he just went straight past, you wouldn't allow it. Definitely not. Damn it! Definitely not. That, that is the worst thing. <laughs> I can just imagine the fourth. I'd rather say we want to be stood here. This is really long actually, it's just over in seconds, isn't it? It's about centimetres from down there to here. Into okay, thank you. Bunker, which is where all the hydraulic systems are. Um, <coughs> are we okay to go over there, Charlotte? Just mind you, it's very steep here, so be very careful. Just mind you, Steph, you've got a big step for right, you, okay? Cheers, thank you. Um, you know, Ooh, bloody, it's quite steep, isn't it? Uh, 
Hi! <laughs> Any goodies today, phones you can sell for a bit of profit? Do they actually come back for it? Uh, most time, yeah. But sometimes we can't find it. Oh, screw. Oh, bloody hell, that's quite stupid. <laughs> Quadruple checked. Quadruple checked. We check everything. They check the camera, check the green, check bearings. We want to make sure everything's possible. Quite amazing. Yeah, they, well, um, every year there'll be someone who actually checks the wells, so every single joint on this track needs to be checked to make sure that there's no, no cracks in the track. And they do that um, every winter, and they're actually abseilers, they'll start, what they, they, they climb around, it's quite interesting to watch them do it, and they go around and, and just uh, oh. and go all, all, all the way around the track, it takes them ages, doesn't it? It's mm. about two or three weeks of just walking around <laughs> to do this, so, and that happens every year. It's the same with 13, you do it on 13 as well. I'm all, about the, the ropes as well. How often um, they get changed? Oh, the ropes. Do you know how often they get changed? You've done them. Okay. <laughs> uh, we have to change the ropes, we need to get changed. Uh, it's halfway through the season, and then at the end of the season, yeah. we we'll change the ropes. So they so get changed twice a year. So, in terms of ordering this and actually fitting it, how long would it take? Do you have Make one in reserve? We're, when it's Coming up, they'll get one. Um, I've done it. Quite a cool view, though, yeah. yeah, feel free to take pictures and selfies. And I want it on that one. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, it, it takes about a day and a bit to do the whole thing. It takes a lot of manpower. How many engineers do you have on park? Like operate, like checking. I have no There's idea. There's so many. There's so many. I have no idea. But they always hide when it comes to the rope change because you know. Yeah. <laughs> So how do they start the stopping now? Or they're just testing that now, Skyride? It's been they on and off on. They probably just get making sure that everybody's off it and then they'll start garaging the gondolas as well, won't they? Yeah, if the, if the weather's badly garaged. Sometimes they'll leave them out. The, the faster they go, usually the more the garaging that they're doing. They go ultra fast when they get that. Yeah, I know, I've seen <laughs> it That was pretty quick, they might be garaging now. Or well, is it basically get rid of them done so they can go away? Well, I don't know, I yeah. think they just want to get them uh, away. They're quite but. funny when you see them go really fast. I've seen it go faster. And I was like, I swear, there's no guests on that. Yeah. So you can see that there's peace on this thing, right? Yeah. Actually, you don't mean it. <laughs> no, we do, we do grease now. The engineers, uh, they start on... Well, oh, blood. <laughs> So I do you switch around, so I've just got to get a picture on the end, is that alright? Um, yeah. Oh, they're all the lost probably. <laughs> How often do you have to clean it out? Uh, well, we can't actually get up there, so unless it's important, techies have to get it up there, we can't. Yeah. I guess there's so many just health and safety rules, isn't there? You're, you're here just to do a job, we don't get the problem. Because there is, there is a safety line, but it's best techies go up there, yeah. rather than us. I bet you get a right lot of abuse when someone dropped their phone. Oh yeah, but it's most likely smashed. <laughs> well, I suppose smashed, mate, you know, it should have got the ride. <laughs> That's brilliant. Got my brand new iPhone. <laughs> we don't say anywhere. Well, there, 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 there. <laughs> Good. So you guys can see if the ride breaks down. 
Oh, well done. <laughs> um, he might not be able to answer this. Do you know what's going on about Charlie? Uh, no idea. Um, the, there have been rumours uh, saying that it might potentially open as a new theme maybe next year or year after. And they've actually done that? Or was it like a boat ride? Was it? Yeah. Did you never go on it? No, I, I, I only came to town for like the first time uh, about a year and a half ago. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, it was a boat ride, and then obviously it was steam around Charlie yeah. Chocolate Factory, and then it had like a, once you got off the boat ride, it was a, a glass-style basin. Oh, wicked. So um, this here is actually the, um, the killers, the refrigeration killers. What about soft species? Is that just part of the, I know the, I know the normal species, that's part of the TLC program. I have no idea what's going on with that. I have no idea. Nobody will tell us. Nobody will tell us. Nobody will I guess just to keep you safe, you don't want to say something, and then they go, oh, well, you told me that. Yeah. Um, this used to be really bad in summer, and um, used to get a lot of downtime in summer, but we've pretty much got it sorted out, so the heat isn't really an issue Oblivion, nine times out of ten, someone's got the camera out, you know, yeah. same this thing. Um, most downtime is unfortunately gas related, yeah. um, and it does reflect badly on us sometimes, but yeah. we've got to make sure everyone's safe, but, um, uh, including the guest who's caused the problem in the first yeah. place. Um, they are being a lot more strict these days about um, if people are misbehaving or do cause a ride to shut down, they will take them out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So even things like this, where it's just proper harness on, they don't allow, do they? Sorry? Either like GoPros, which are like proper no. harnessed on, no. it's a no. It's a, it's just no for it, any kind of GoPros. It could GoPros. still fail, even though I know GoPro are a yeah. very good brand, and it still could. If you're interested, I can tell you the name anyway, but it's up to you if you want to check it out. Right. You should name. Um, yeah, so, sure. 13. I'm sure I, Steve I would be interested as well. Yeah. <laughs> Both me and Steve are interested. Yeah, that's why we were like, yeah, we'll do this. Love it, thank you. So, I've been on there since 2012, so that's since the first opened. But I've worked with the engineering team. What's your favourite ride to work on? Uh, 13. Uh, 13. It is, yeah, I, I really care 13 was my first ride in 2013. Yeah. 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 But yeah, 13 is definitely my favourite. What's your favourite Merlin attraction? Oh. Um, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, you didn't know. Yeah. I don't want to but say yeah. the wrong place. Well, <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Well, so it's, it's, yeah, as long as it's murder, I like to say. Okay, so I do like Chesterton because. Um, Vampire is probably my um, favourite ride. Yeah, that is a good coaster. I like how quirky it is um, and old. And, and one we've got of Oblivion. little then that the ride is. is obviously, yeah, it was Arrow, but now it's in the Pony. Yeah. 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 Favourite flat ride? Okay, so you've only got two teams. There is more. Anywhere in the parks. Anywhere where? In any of the parks. I personally like Samurai more. I thought. Fan of yeah, top yeah, yeah. 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 A slammer, I miss. So we do have fourteen. Slammer, Steve, and slammer. What? Me and you are friends on slammer. We, 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 we are. Yeah. Don't, don't you go into the story. Then. No, go, go on. I'm interested in here. <laughs> Sitting on slammer with Steve. First time I go on it, and I thought, oh, actually, it's quite. It's a bit scary. So I thought, okay, nobody else wanted to go on it. I go with Steve. So we sat down, and obviously, if you've been on it, the bolts turn, don't they? Anyway, the, the so you know, up with the spin. Yeah. so you sp spawn and Steve goes, oh look, this is on your harness. Fighting Zodiac like, as well. Yeah. It's horrible because yeah. you made to share the carriages, which is crap. Um, so hopefully they'll redevelop Charlie and Chocolate. I like Zodiac. Into something else and hopefully with that they'll change the yeah. Yeah. Is it what true about the, the potentially have a Lego down. area over here? Well, really um, nice. I, I've asked this and everyone said Go no. Jetters. Yeah. So <laughs> It might be. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Who knows? Um, yeah, I've heard they have Merlin have to open up a Lego area somewhere in the parks. Other than Legoland. I, I think a Lego area would be great. I, yeah. I would like that. That's what the rumours are, that yeah, it's going to be Lego themed up there. And that's what everyone keeps saying. But, it, but everybody said but that the Wicker Man was going to be called the Wicker Man and everyone de denied it. And then all yeah. of a sudden it's a Wicker Man. I'm sorry <laughs> to say it, but... It's obvious secret. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but Merlin, in terms of new attractions, they... They spread and breed sea lives and manatees like crazy. Dungeons, they rapidly breed that, but 
fact, semi sea life and in terms of new attractions in parks, there's always a Wells First. Wells well, First is Wells First well, isn't necessarily the best. I think they are trying to focus more on hotels now, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, like don't we know? Well, thing is, it's, general, it's so expensive. Even places that aren't like theme parks, I think they are trying to focus. Well, the thing on is, you've got three three hotels now, plus in Charlton Village. Yeah. Crazy. Well, do you know why the um, high road is the closest? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're there. Yeah, it was a shot to us, to be honest. They never really told us why. I don't think it did as well as they wanted it to. I think it was in the wrong place. I think if it was actually on the park, it would probably do better. Yeah. So I did it last year, and um, I didn't take my bloody photos, so I was going to do it this year. And yeah, we'll I wanted it. to do it. I've only ever done it once. I could just imagine like a so 13 room in there, like the scare Yeah. Are we having a stroll back? You'll have a slow walk back. Do mind Do you need pictures, Liam? Get your pictures, because you don't have any, have you? Yeah, I've got a few pictures. Oh, okay. I'll get a picture of Ben. Are you able to take a quick pic, sorry, for me? Uh, sorry, I'll just go there. <laughs> Sorry, not the best case. Thank you. I'm sure that'd be great. Can I get one of the events as well, sorry? Yeah, sure. Thank you. I've got loads of papers. It's okay, I have the same and everything. Thank you. Um, when we get to the f far end, where no four of us could be together, can we get a group shot of all of us two? Yeah, 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 totally. Oh yeah, okay, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think of Darren? I've not been on it. Oh. Steve went on it for the first time the other week. Darren Brown too. Darren, you like talked to me about that. He doesn't like the, the ride system is really good. But he, he doesn't like scary I stuff and neither scary. do I. Off point, I haven't actually asked you any, asked you any questions yet. What do you think about Scarefest? <laughs> or Friday Nights? Do you prefer Friday Nights or Scarefest? Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> Typical. We don't really I get time. Scarefest. I've never been Fright Nights because I'm always working Scarefest. Fright Nights is good, but... Um... Hey, what's over there? Let's quickly. 13. <laughs> I think with... Um, what, Fright Nights is Well, that your mazes are all, like, paid for, aren't they? So you don't have the pity teenagers you battering them. Like the three ones yeah. <laughs> So where about through the base? See, so, I want to quickly go and get that. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, it's on a timer. God damn it. When would that ever be used at East Stop? Um, when would that East Stop be used? In fact, like never. I can never, never imagine using that. Oh, Wicker Man still? <laughs> That's unbelievable. So how come the train hasn't been rever reversed in yet? Sorry? How come the other train hasn't been put in the platform yet? Uh, it's because the mechanics haven't been here yet. The mechanics uh -huh. will start all that. It goes in there because they have um, sections of track that are smaller than the main one. And then what it'll do is it'll lift the train up in the middle and then they can actually check the wheels um, uh -huh. on there um, freely. So. Yeah. It's very clever. So what they usually do is they'll take that one in and then they'll do the other one ah. afterwards. So, um, Would it be possible to, for, for the group shot if you two go that side and we go here and then we can just do like a selfie this way? I, I'm not sure. We could do something like that. We'll go and we'll go take yeah. our padlocks. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, 
Um, no, I can't promise anything. Oh. I think now you got to figure out which panel feels. <laughs> yeah. Amanda's going to be going mental. Daydream running. That's mine, that one. Thank you. Thank you. Have you got a piece of scrap paper at all? Uh, yes. Oh, you've got all. Look at that. Are you leaving a note for the operator tomorrow? Leave a note for you. Leave a note for Greg and Kurt tomorrow. You suck. We're going to be on the telly now. Yeah. On the telly now. Yeah. Yeah. I love watching them. Do you do vlogging then? Is that right? Yeah. Oh, you got that? Oh, cool. I've got coastal plans up there behind the tools and all sorts. So if you're ever interested in seeing things from Thorpe. Oh, do you do Thorpe Park quite a lot more than this one then? Well, I live in Mid Nowhere now because I used to live down uh, there. But um, I, I do I do Paris, Park, I do so Florida. I do, do you guys miss Slammer? Big time. Yeah. I, I miss Slammer. With, uh, Such a good dude. Um, at the end of the day, I'm surprised it's just my website. Spags got rid of theirs after three years, and, yeah. uh, and Slammer. Did you want me to share it? I share it. I love Slammer so much, but I was just left there just to rock with Loggers Leap. Yeah, that's gone. Cool. That's definitely gone. But the thing is with the log things, yeah. that a lot of them are going now because they're, they're, they're bringing a lot more um, yeah. water hygiene and oh, everything yeah. has to be filtered. And so Steve and who? And this is for stars, so I don't forget. So that way it's going to be closed just because it's not the, yeah. the regulations coming in. Yeah, so... But yeah, I think that's a combination factor, um, along with um, the cost of getting yeah, it. Is that to why you it. It's, it's a very early ride as well. Um, the plume was very sad when that went new, yeah. they didn't give us any warning about it. Yeah, um, just went who are the members of Star? There's a blonde hair lady who was at the back. Of, what's her name? Carissa. Carissa, how do you spell that? Sorry. C L A R I double S A. Carissa. Carissa. Yeah. 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 She just kept. Every time we went on, she's like, "They'll be down at five. Keep going." <laughs> I, I was literally. I was um, stuck at thirteen. Yeah, I was stuck like, at eleven. I can't get out anywhere. I was like, "No one can take uh, me." That's my website, and so that'll be online when it, probably two weeks. <laughs> By time I I will. I will have to have a look. So yeah. I'm, I'm I never. I never really pass on. <laughs> yeah. I'm not on YouTube. So uh, have you guys enjoyed it? Had a good time. Yeah. Was that a great time? Awesome. Um, I just want to get a group shot for the thumbnail, if possible. So yeah. Yeah. Well. Because um, I usually would, would you like us to go down on the, the train somewhere and do something down there? Uh. Well, yeah. I need to try and say something that says Rita, but four slash behind the tools. So it's clickable. <laughs> Click. Or, or on one of the cars. Okay, we'll have a we'll have a wander down here. We'll lock up a beer. Thank you. All these. Yeah. Oh, so what about see your fast track tickets? If it breaks down, or is that down to two oh, meters yeah. to give up? Oh, okay. I might give up loads of them. Yes. <laughs> Yeah.